yeah Please tell me that I can't, that I won't, that I fail, that I'll never make it out, yeah Please tell me all the bad, never good, fill my head full of every single doubt, yeah Please say any negative thoughts, I pop off when I hear people say I cannot I get off to the thought of proving everyone wrong, I won't stop to the top, so you better back off and get lost I'ma stay loud, stay proud, never running out, never heading south I'll be spreading out, call it word of mouth, can't put me down, I'll be getting loud You can never douse, not what I'm about Good morning, welcome back to my channel In today's video, we're gonna work on the El Camino it's been a while since you guys have seen this car. It's been a while since I did anything to this car. But what we need to do is in the last video I made, we were having fueling issues and I kind of like pushed it to the side. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to try to figure out those fueling issues and I'm going to drop the tank because I think the fueling issues may be the vent hose. So I'm going to drop the tank, make sure I get all that fixed and get the car running. So let's go up to the shop. Okay, so I got the El Camino in front of the shop. And what I have to do with this one is, let me show you. So the... When I switch it on, a few pump pumps, but that f the little filter right there doesn't fill up with fuel. You can see it like bubbling. And the last time I did it, it was because of the vent. So I blew out the vent hose. I got a video showing that I blew out the vent hose and it worked for a little bit and then it stopped again. So I think there's something going on with the vent hose or the vent tube. So the first thing I'm going to do is climb up under the car and blow out the vent tube again. And if I have to drop the tank, I'm going to go ahead and drop the tank. So, but that's what I'm going to go ahead and do now. Okay, so the Elko is jacked up. And let me show you what I'm trying to do. That's my pump right there. The pump is running good. I have another one just in case. But I really don't think the issue is with the pump. Because... Last time I did, I blew out the fuel line, um, the vent hose, which is this hose, and it worked fine. So I'm gonna try to blow out this again and see if she'll run. All right, so this is the, the hose coming from the tank. So I'm gonna go up under the car and blow it out from the back. And I'm not going to be able to see anything, so I'm going to set the camera up and let you guys take a look and we'll see if anything comes out when I blow. Trying to figure out how to set this camera up. There we go. All right. So we'll see if anything comes out of this hose right here. All right, did you see anything come out? I'm gonna have to um, look at this video so I can see if anything came out. Okay, so there was some stuff that came out but not enough to cause the issues that I'm having. So 
I just tried to blow back the other way. I took the cap off and tried to blow back this way and nothing was coming out. It was just pressurizing the tank. So I think my clog is actually um, coming from the tank, not going up to the front. So unfortunately, I'm gonna have to go ahead and drop the tank. So it's not gonna be too bad, I guess. Let me show you. You got these two straps on it. So you got the bolt right there and a bolt over here. And it looks like there's no bolts around the, the fill tube. So let me go ahead and get this tank dropped. I think I have about probably pretty close to a half a tank in here. So I'm going to have to put the, the jack up on it to lower it down. So, all right, let's get to moving. Okay, I got the straps loose. Just got them hanging there bolts up see I got my jack up under the tank I got an old wheel up under it just so that I didn't have to let the jack up so high all right so I'm gonna go ahead and let this tank down I was wondering what the air sound was but that's the air that I popped I pumped into the tank all right so I'm gonna go ahead and try to ease the tank down some and see if it has enough holes on it for me to get to the top of it Okay, the tank is down, and or at least a little bit. I'm gonna have to wiggle it a little bit just to get it down some more. So I'm gonna go ahead and take it completely out from front of the car. Might as well do it right if you're gonna do it at all. Okay, got the tank out. I forgot to take the sending one, sending unit off for the wire, but that unplugged itself. Hopefully, looks like it broke off a little something too. The ground so i gotta get that put back on but let's go ahead and see what's going on with this vent hose okay all right got the tank cleaned off and these original hoses are really soft so i don't know if that has anything to do with it but they seem to be sucking blowing out when i actually put air in it um, and if it sucks anything, it's probably sucking clothes also. But I'm going to go ahead and replace these hoses and see if I can get some air to go through it before I put the tank back up. All right, so since I got the tank out and everything, just for shits and giggles, I'm going to test out my fuel pump. So I just got the hose ran into this jug right here. And I'm going to see if the car will start up and run like this and that that will tell me if it's a fuel pump issue or not so let me go and put the battery in and see if it'll start up okay got the battery plugged up so let's see if the fuel pump comes on fuel pumped on let's see if it fills up the the filter I think that filter is supposed to be full, but I'm not sure. So this is the old pump, it's a Mr. Gasket, and this is the new pump. Um, Carbol, same part number, same voltage, same pressure. So I just gotta take this piece off and put it on here. So that's what I'm gonna do now. And hold on. Actually, it goes like that. All right, that makes more sense now. All right, so I just gotta take this piece off and put it on here. So 
okay got the fuel pump wired up got the wires heat shrink um got the pump connected got the hoses on it uh, got the flow going in the right direction and what i'm going to do now is plug it back up to this can right here and let's see if we can get it running with that before i put the tank back up all right so it's running let me disconnect the battery the jump box real fast All right, so you see I got the El Camino running um, off of the gas can. So what I'm gonna do now, or what I already start doing, I replaced this ground wire that I broke. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and replace those hoses because they look bad if you look at it. Put new holes on there and get ready to get this tank back up. back under the car everything's fixed let me take it down off the ramps now okay back from the shop now um you see i got the fueling issues fixed with the el camino the only thing i need to do with the el camino now is minor stuff um i think my window switch went bad so i can't let my window up and down um so i gotta take the door panel back off to change that and when the door panel's off, I have to connect the, the pull strap um, again on that door. So I also need to get, and I, I think I'm going to get someone to come out um, to do it. But I need to get someone to adjust the valves, um, check the timing, and, and things like that just to help the car run a little bit smoother. I don't know if you caught it when it was idling, but it was like, um, it had like a little pop to it or whatever. And I can hear the rocker arms um making a lot of noise so i think that the rock arms need to be adjusted the valves need to be adjusted things like that just to get it running smooth but other than that it's running it's running pretty good i'm just ready to start driving the car i want to take the car to a couple of shows because i really want to get the car sold the car has been sitting around and the paint i don't want it to ruin the paint by just sitting around so i really want to get the car out so people can see it and i can go ahead and and, and get this car sold Thanks for watching. Click on that subscribe button if you haven't. Click that notification bell and I'll see you in the next video.